y'all doing in my bathroom this early? Oh, that's right. I said I was going to do this Jerry Curl video today. I'll be right back. All right. Hey, superstars. It's your girl, Malika, a.k.a. Ms. Magic, back with another natural hair video. I said I wasn't going to do it. I said I wasn't going to do it. But guess what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to put Jerry Curl juice in my head to do my wash and go. I said I wasn't going to do it, but guess what? Everybody else doing it. Now, so if everybody decides to go jump off a cliff, you're going to jump off the cliff too. That's beside the point, though. Also, we are going to talk about the infamous Gina Curl. I just recently found out about it, but this uh, woman has been doing this curl for a very long time, some years. I've been looking at some of her videos and looking at some other people's videos and looking at a lot of the hate comments. I mean, she got a lot of nice comments, but she got a lot of hate comments too. And from my opinion, well, we're going to talk about my opinion when we get started on my hair. But first, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, thanks for coming to my little old channel. I hope that you please subscribe, like, and comment if you like this video. Watch some of my other videos. I have plenty of videos. And if you are returning, welcome back, my superstars. All right, let's just dive right into this jerry curl. As uh, people, in my teenage years, I had a curl as well. We all did. It's what we did. All right, so let's get started. My hair has been washed, conditioned, and I put the leave-in in already. So we're going to get started on applying the product. And as I see, like I said, I have the S-Curl, what does it say? Curl and Wave Gel Activator. Um, it says anti-frizz with olive oil, argan oil, paraben-free. And it is made by Luster. Now, when I had a curl, it was called the Carefree Curl. But... Uh, people had lust of the S curl. It was a whole bunch of different curls. We'll talk about that. And I see everybody been chasing it with the wet line. So I'm going to chase it with the wet line. And I'm going to do the uh, be doing the coil method. So, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Now, after I said I wasn't going to do the video, huh? All right. So let's get started. I'm going to, I like products. So I'm going to use a lot. I'm going to use this. And I ain't even part out my, my dang old section. I'm so frantic, I ain't even part out my section. I guess I could do it with it in my hand. Let, that was dumb. That was dumb. You know what? Just put it all in. I ain't even put the water in anyway. And then we can part the section. It's never enough, right? It's never enough. So I am used, I've seen a lot of videos on type four hair. Haven't seen too many on type three. So, y'all see on Facebook, everybody got a dang on group. Everybody wants you to join their group. I mean, if one more person invite me to join the black something, join the black flowers, join the girl power group, join, 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 join. Jeez. All right. Now I'm ready. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to go back with that energy and take that much. So I got the light gel. I didn't get the regular. Just because I knew I was chasing it with wet line. So I don't know. I don't think you needed all that gel. And I'm going to go in with my wet line. Chase it. And like I said, I... Ooh, my hair is super wet. I'm going to do the finger coil method. So I just take my sections and, and coil it. And they'll just curl up naturally. All right. I'll do two of those. And then we're going to jump right into my opinion. Where is he going? Of the Gina curl. So let's wet that up. Put in our Luster Carefree Curl Juice. Carefree. Carefree. Did I say Luster Carefree Curl Juice? I mean Jerry Curl. Well, I had a Carefree Curl. It was Carefree. 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 Carefree Curl. Y'all remember that? Carefree. Carefree. If y'all don't, whatever. Carefree Curl. 
Kefri. 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 I think I'm singing that right. I don't know. It was something. It was something like that, regardless. So I do know that. Alrighty. <sighs> Okay, so for y'all, for you of all, you all that do not know who the lady uh, that invented the Gina Curl is, she is a Caucasian woman who has um, been doing this for years. And what she basically is doing, I did that wrong. See, I cannot talk and chew gum at the same time. What she basically is doing is um, she developed a, a system, her own personal system. It's called the Gina Curl. And what she is doing is she's taking um, the premise of curly perm that Caucasians get. And she is um, applying that to women of color. And she is perm setting, perm rod setting their hair. And then she's putting the um, ammonia thioglycolate, her version of it or her uh, system of it on their hair. And most of the girls on there look to be um, four C's. I didn't really see anybody else that had a thinner texture. So, um, and then she perm sets their hair just like they get in the perm, which a perm is for Caucasians and Asians get it. And, you know, but anywho, um, and she's doing that to their hair. And what it is doing, it is definitely changing their curl pattern to a looser curl pattern, making it more manageable for them. And then making, like I say, not that tight coil, a looser coil. And I guess that helps the ladies um keep their hair longer or not keep their hair longer but um uh, manage their hair better so okay so when i was reading the comments on a couple of people's um pages she's getting a lot of flack from it they're saying you know that ain't nothing but the jerry curl and you doing these black girls hair and you shouldn't be doing this and why do you have a black girl on your uh your circle thingy whatever you call it you know what i'm saying Y'all know what I'm saying. And um, all of this or whatever. So, I'm thinking to myself, why are they doing it? They do know the person that invented the Jerry Curl is white, right? I'm just saying. Jerry Redding, he's white. He, he's a, uh, was a, he was a multi-conglomerate beauty guru, nexus, um... I mean, he done did a whole bunch of products. I I know it was Nexus, um, some the Redding, the what was Redken Redken, uh, products, bunch of products. He's white. He's white. He invented the Jerry Curl, the Jerry Curl for Black women. Okay. Now Comer Cottrell, I think I pronounced it there. Cottrell Coach Cottrell Comer Cottrell was an African American who invented the People's Jerry Curl. And what he basically did was take Jerry Redden's um, system and he invented a curl kit that people could use at home. And that's what had the Jerry Curl juice in it that we uh, African-Americans know of and, and love from coming to America so glow. And, and we would put that, uh, we, would get our Jerry, we would get our Jerry Curls from the salon or whatever or do it ourselves. And then we put on the, the juice. Which S curl has a juice. Everybody got a juice. Um, and then we would start using the plastic caps to sleep at night to keep it moisturized because, as you know, black women's hair has to be constantly moisturized. And that is the reason why most of those Jerry curls you saw, they started off with this much hair and their hair would grow down to their butt is because of the Jerry curl juice. And the plastic cap sleeping on at night and our hair would stay totally moisturized and we have no reason to break. And um, we use in this, everybody is using Luster because he pretty much is like the last person that has a gel for um, the curl. But um, the there was a Carefree curl. There was a Hawaiian curl. There was World of Curls. There was, um, I mean, you name it, uh, the In The Wave Nouveau. There's so many curls out here that, that copied off of each other down the line over the years until people was like, you know what? Curls are canceled. That's what they said. Curls is canceled. No more curls. And it disappeared. It disappeared for years. Um, now, in the salon where I work, 
I still have my few. My mother-in-law had a curl. My aunties had a curl. So they would make me do their curls. When I first started doing curls, um, if I do this wrong, it's because I'm running my mouth, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, I started doing curls right out of hair school. My first curl, oh my God, that was such a scary experience. It was a guy that had just got out of prison. Where he was in there with his mama and he wanted a carefree curl, girl. Woo, I'm having flashbacks, but um, that's a whole nother thing. Anyway, once the curls started going out, I still had to do about two or three. I started off doing a curl at $50 when I first got out of hair school. And then I raised the price as I didn't want to do them anymore. So I figured if people wanted to pay the price of the curl, they would pay. So I think by the end of me doing a curl, I was charging $100 for the curl. Until I just said, I don't want to do no curls no more. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, 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 done. So, on that note, uh, what was I about to say? I finally got out of the curl. And I hadn't heard no more about it until we got on this dang on YouTube and everybody wanted to put Jerry Curl juice in their head. So, then I saw somebody says, I was looking at the curl stuff and I said, I'm not going to do this. I was watching, I think, Faye in the City, and she did it. And I'm like, oh, okay, I don't know. I, I can't go back. I can't go back. And then after I watched that video, it directed me to somebody talking about the Gina girl. And then I go on there, and I'm like, she getting mad hate mail. Like, they are going in on this white woman. And I'm just like, look at that white woman. Why are y'all messing with her? Why are you messing with her? She not doing nothing but a cold wave on these girls' hair. And most of them are young girls with long, thick, beautiful, coily, foresty hair that they, mom, they mothers probably don't know what to do with it. Now, the natural hair gurus on here, I applaud you. You all know what to do with your 4C hair. I mean, y'all got it together. But just think, these people are at home. They, they, these girls got hair down to their butt, tangled, mess. They not taking care of it. They not combing it. They don't know what to do with their hair. So they choose if they choose to go in there and get a Gina curl for five hundred dollars. Yeah, I said five hundred dollars. Then who are you to tell them to do to do with their money? Who are you to tell them what to do with their money? I was charging a hundred dollars and my girls ain't have half the hair they had. If them girls walked up in there and, 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 and like that, I probably would have went up to five hundred dollars too. And plus, they going in there in droves. If you look at her videos, they are going up in there in droves, baby. They getting they, uh Gina Curl. So, for $500, I'm going to invent the Malika Curl. I'm not going back to the curl. I can't go back to the Doing no curls, especially all that hair. I mean, she be having, she has two to three women curling up these ladies' hair at one time. Like, how the Africans do or the Jamaicans do when they braid your hair. That's what they're doing with that curling process. Because what you have to do is you have to take smaller sections than this. And you have to roll up each section of the hair. So by the, by the time they're done, they got 100 rollers in their hair. Then after that, she got to put in the curly cold wave process, which white people invented. And the cold wave been around for 100 years. So y'all saying that she stole something and is doing it to black hair? Leave that white woman alone. She ain't did nothing to y'all. She ain't doing nothing but making her money. Make your money, sis. I'm telling you. Because, uh, hey, she just doing what she do. She, a fellow, she is my fellow hairstylist, so get off her back. And if y'all come for me in my comments, I bite back. Woo! I just did a whole rant, girl, y'all. Y'all forgive me, girl. Let's get back to this Jerry Curl. Okay, I'm going to continue to put in this Jerry Curl. And um, I'm done with my little Gina Curl rant. And um, yeah, y'all enjoy the music while I get done. It's a syndicate at night. Blessing play bed in the daytime. Goosebumps rise at night. And settle back down at sunrise Cut the cord at noon And say you'll be back soon Touch up, no worries Please get back early Head out with champagne and dress Alright guys Sometimes this is such a messy job It's such a messy job 
All right, so I am done. Ooh. This is how it looks in the back. It's starting to curl up in the back. I'll probably scrunch it. If you do not know me, I am a straight natural, so I wear my hair silk press in the uh, fall and, and winter, and I wear it natural in the spring and summer. So um, my hair stays pretty curly back here, but these little ends, my little ends are straight. So I usually curl them up. I think this time I'll wait till it's dry, halfway dry. It's halfway dry before I put rollers in it because last time it took forever to dry. So I will be back after I dry it a little bit. All right, superstars. This is me at about 75 to 80% dry. As I said, I was going to put my little curly cues and my little straight one. I already did a couple of them while I was at the shop. And then, the, like I said, I don't have to put it in the back because they pretty, stay pretty curly. So, yeah, I'm about 75%. So, what I am noticing and what I do remember with the Carefree Curl Juice is that um, it's gummy. It is gummy. It's like, um, it's a grease. And I guess that um, helps to weigh it down and, and lock the moisture in. So, my hands are pretty gummy just by touching it and putting the rollers in. So I will be back when it's fully dry to take my little coils out and show you all the final look. But I definitely remember this feel like you can touch your hair like this. And that's with me using a lot of product because I, I feel like you need a lot of product. So that's with me touching this and then I can literally take my fingertips and do like this. And I, you can't see it, but it's it's oily. It's like a, I don't know, I can't describe it. Not too gummy, but kind of oily. But I am 75 to 80% dry, so I'll be back when I am 100% dry. Okay, Superstar, so I was outside. So you remember me just saying that this had like a gummy consistency that I wasn't too sure of. Like if you take your finger, it's like, I don't know, it's like a weird consistency. You can see that. You see my finger, how it sticks. So I was like, well, this is weird. So I started taking out my rollers. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. And it was still kind of wet. So I was real um, uh, tender, real light when I took out the um, coils. I was unseparating my coils. And I'm like, I don't know. It feel all right, but it's, I know it's still wet. But then I took a mirror and I looked at the back of my head. And y'all need to see this. Look at the definition in these curls from the Jerry Curl. Do, do y'all see that? I mean, I don't even know if y'all see it. Do you see that? I haven't even uncoiled this side. This side is still coiled. This side I start fingering apart and I'm trying not to manipulate it too much because I'm still about to diffuse it. But oh my God. I don't like this gummy feeling, but I guess that's what you got to do. That's what you, look. Oh, 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 oh my. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and take out the rest of my little rollers. And I'm going to go ahead and uncoil it and diffuse it because um, I'm excited. Like the back, I, my hair, let me tell y'all something. Since I've been natural, my hair has never, never, do you hear me? Never, never been this defined since I damn near had a jerry curl, a real jerry curl. Um, yeah, let's, let's just start taking these coils out. This is interesting. And what the crazy part about it is... My hair looks limp now, but after a couple of days, it's going to start swelling. So I am definitely amazed with this look. So yeah, it looks limp and dry now, but I'm telling you, once I pick it out, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look amazing. So I'm a, I'll am i be back when I get to picking it out. All right, guys, I'm about to hit the streets, but do y'all see my hair? My hair is completely dry. It's not wet anywhere. This luster is magic. Y'all better hit Walmart, Amazon, 
Somebody, because before I do, because I'm about to buy all of this gel up. This stuff is the truth. Do y'all see the back of my hair? I, I picked it out. I diffused it a little bit, but I don't want to do too much because this is day one. Do you see the definition? Do you see the definition of these curls? Just look. Just look. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm speechless. I'm literally speechless. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Now, what I will say is, um, as it just totally defined the hell out of the back of my hair, and if y'all know me it, or watched any of my other videos, I never like the back of my hair because my back of the back of my hair never gets defined. The front is always what I like. Today, eh, not really liking it because it's, you know, it's kind of too weighted down so that no curls pop. But I've learned a valuable lesson. All the luster, all the jerry curl juice goes in the back, all up in here. And then in the front, I'll be really light with it. Or may not even use it at all. I might just use the wet line gel or whatever kind of gel I use. Because I will be trying other gels. But let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one damn thing. This is a staple. This is a staple. I'm just... I cannot believe it. Look at the shake on my hair. My hair is not wet at all. My hair is totally dry. And to some of you all, because I do have to reset hair, it is kind of like weighted down. You know, I do like a little bit more lift. However, this is day one. This is day one. Just imagine what it's going to look like day three, day four. It's going to give me that. And then in the morning, I'm going to put some more of this stuff in my hair. And it's, I'm going to pick it up. And it's going to be high. It's going to be beautiful. Baby, we got a winner. We got a winner. But let's get back to closing this out. And I'm just going to go back to what I was talking about with the Gina curl. Um, everybody, like I said, leave that woman alone. She makes she doing her thing. She hustling. She got a good thing going. If they want to go and put chemicals in their hair to, to release their court curl a little bit, to make it a little bit more manageable, let them girls do it. If you don't want to put anything in your head at all, that's fine too. If you want to slap wigs on your hair every day, that's fine too. Do you and let everybody do them. I feel like Jerry Springer now. What's he say? Take care of yourself and each other. Love you guys. Mwah.